So to do this channel scan, I'm using a Zapperbox M1, which has the capability of scanning in ATSC 3.0 channels and ATSC 1.0 channels. I have this connected to my antenna that I have up on a tower next to my house, which works really well for me to get a bunch of channels over the air for free. If you have a zapper box and you want to do an ATSC 3.0 scan, most of my channels are 1.0, but there is maybe one or two ATSC 3.0 channels, which will have the little blue signal meter next to it if it's ATSC 3.0. So you just simply hit the menu button and the zapper box menu will pop up for YouTube settings and channel scan about and subscribe to guide. I'm going to just hit channel scan and I'm going to do an, an additive channel scan if I'm pronouncing that right <clears throat> or you can do a signal frequency scan where you just pick out an RF channel and you're trying to scan in one channel so when doing this make sure you're doing it on an additive channel scan you can do a full channel scan but what will happen is it will wipe out all the other channels but if you want to keep your channels and you've moved your antenna and you want to pick up a few other channels and just be able to move your antenna so you can get different channels additive channel scan option to save your channels because you'll lose your channels if you do the full channel scan we'll click on that and there it goes now you can already see the channels that have already scanned in and it's gonna just go through all the channels that are available in my area in my area there is quite a lot of channels I can pick up close to 68 channels although that is a clear day when, when I can pick up 68 channels. And the cool thing with this is if you do this, it will give you a SNR and a signal quality um, reading as well. So this is kind of handy if you're moving your antenna and you wanna have it in the best optimum spot to get multiple channels. Um, doing this and maybe taking a screenshot or taking a picture of this, uh, this these signal readings is a good reference to uh, setting your antenna in the optimum position to get all of your channels from around your area. I'm not sure if I'll pick up all the channels I was that I was able to scan in because my antenna is in a different position. And I think I was a clear day the other day when I did do this channel scan. So, <clears throat> but it's always fun to do this because with ATSC 3.0 launching more channels, and I do believe they might be more ATSC 3.0 channels launching in my area so i'll be scanning in to see if there's anything new and exciting in the future to come oh this one might not come in because the antenna is not in the optimum position well no i picked it up it's pretty decent quality and i bet you won't find that channel eight because that was like a really good tropo day where i was able to pick up channel eight and some sub channels and i didn't pick up 45 which is NBC and that's just simply because it's a weaker power station so I do have to have my antenna optimally aimed at that and I'd probably want to aim my antenna back at that channel because that actually has me TV uh, it has grit and um, a bunch of other channels NBC and it can show that digital uh, can't on clear days you can pick up digital channels that you can't always pick up in my situation for cha um, RF channel 21 and RF channel uh, 28, I couldn't pick up anything because usually those, it has to be a really clear day for those channels to come in. But it is fun doing a scan on a really clear day because you'll pull in channels that you don't normally pull in. So it's, especially in the spring and in the early fall. Right now in the spring is a great time because all the leaves are off the trees, you get some nice weather. So you, I, I can pull in some channels pretty far away. And there's the scan. I'm just going to hit OK to that. It didn't find any channels, but it's just how to um, go through all your channels. It bit did read, give a readout of the SNR quality of the channels. And this is great if you're going to move your antenna uh, and uh, and get it uh, adjusted. Check out my uh, previous videos where I've done a full breakdown of the Zapper Box. I'll have a playlist as well so you can go through all the Zapper Box videos that I've made covering this. Please watch this video in its entirety and give this video a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe and share this content with on your social media with all your friends. If this content has blessed you, please consider supporting my work by making a small donation to my Patreon or to my PayPal or on YouTube to donate to help support my video work.
If you're looking for a Zapper Box, check out their website at zapperbox.com. There will be an affiliate link in the description of this video that I will get a small commission with no extra charge to you. When you buy a Zapper Box, you'll get one month free of their 14 day guide plus DVR advanced features. 